Hi there, Dr. Shelby here at Evolve Chiropractic in Woodstock, ready to talk to you about imbibition. Now, what is imbibition? Imbibition is a structure that intakes water in order to nutrify itself. Now, water can also be pushed out of that same structure through compressive forces, but ultimately that water should be able to be sucked back up by that structure. Now, in our body, a lot of different areas will use imbibition in order to get water and nutrients to that area. One of the most important ways or one of the most important structures that does imbibition is the discs in your spine. Now, in your spine, you have each of these bones. They're called vertebra. And in between each of these bones is called a disc. Now, the disc is a jelly-like structure. I always like to think of it as a little bit like a sponge. Now, there is no blood flow coming into your disc. Therefore, all the nutrients, all the water that the disc needs has to come through through this osmotic force called imbibition. So, again, what that means is when your disc is compressed, all the water, all the nutrients, any toxins that are in that disc will be pushed out. Now, in order to get nutrients, blood flow, and healing back into that area, that disc has to then decompress and it will start to suck water and nutrients back into that area. That is how a disc not only stays healthy and hydrated, but can repair itself if need be. Now, how does imbibition work in your day-to-day -day life? Now, as many of us know, there's something called gravity constantly pushing us down. On top of that, we have things such as sitting, holding things, lifting weights, all of those are compressive forces that will push the disc down. What can help decompress that disc is things such as activity, so movement as walking, bicycling, um, coming into your chiropractor and getting decompressive therapy, and that will help decompress that disc and allow water and fluid and nutrients back into that disc in order to keep its height and maintain the healthy structure that it is. Now, if you have constant overload and stress on this structure and there is no way for the, the disc to go through this process of imbibition, that disc will continue to compress and compress and compress until it starts to bulge or herniate. Now, you can see in this diagram behind me, you have what's known as a normal healthy disc on top. As imbibition or compression starts to happen, you will start to get something such as a degenerative disc. Over time, that degenerative disc will become a bulging disc a herniated disc, and ultimately a thinning disc. Now, when you start having this thinning disc issue, what can happen is you will not only lose height, right? So some of us say that we shrink over time. This is true, but this can start to wear and tear not only on the disc, but on the bones around the disc, therefore causing what's known as arthritis or degenerative disc disease. Now, what can you do to prevent or reverse this if this is happening to you? Well, first and foremost, get out, get active, start moving around more. Now, I'm not saying go run a Boston Marathon, but start walking more, get out and be more active. And of course, schedule your appointment with your chiropractor. And if you don't have one, visit us here at Evolve Chiropractic in Woodstock. We're excited to see you.